Hello and welcome back to Tech Finance Today, the channel where we decode the markets and understand the trends. Strap in for an exciting episode as we dive into the financial and market performance of a titan in the tech industry, Advanced Micro Devices Inc. or AMD. Let's start with the financials. AMD has been a powerhouse of fiscal strength, boasting a revenue of $22.68 billion. Their quarterly revenue growth, an impressive 10.2% year over year. Their balance sheet shines with a profit margin of 3.77% and an operating margin of 5.54%. But the cherry on top, their return on equity, standing tall at 1.54%. The management effectiveness also stands out with a return on equity of 1.54%. Switching gears to stock performance, over the past 52 weeks, AMD has had a stellar run with a whopping 124.10% increase, significantly outperforming the S&P 500's 27.79% change. The stock soared to a 52-week high of $184.92, towering over the low of $76.65. But remember, with a beta of 1.63, AMD's stock is more volatile than the market. In the trading arena, AMD's share statistics are a hive of activity, with an average volume over three months of 72.53 million and institutions holding 75% of AMD's float, it's clear there's strong institutional confidence. However, there's a note of caution with a short percentage of float at 2.48% as of January 31st, 2024. For our dividend lovers, AMD has been focusing on growth and does not offer a dividend. The last stock split was way back in 2000, but given the recent price surge, who knows what the future holds? Now, looking at the technical analysis, the monthly chart reveals a consistent upward trend. There's been a minor dip of 2.94% on February 23rd, but don't be fooled. The long-term trend has been upward since 2020, suggesting AMD is a growth-oriented stock. Now, for our final grade. After weighing the financials, market performance, and trading activity, we award AMD an A for its remarkable growth and commanding market position. Yet the volatility and absence of dividends warrant consideration for the risk-averse investor.